It's Sunday. I was feeling pretty good. And I thought, hey, what can I do to ruin my mood? I know what, I can log into Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and get manipulated by the skill based matchmaking and the engagement optimization matchmaking and be manipulated. That sounds like a great idea, so I thought, hey, let's go for it. So I logged in and I wasn't actually hit by update requires a restart, super amazed by that. But then things took a turn for the worse, expectedly, because when you play Call of Duty Black Ops 6, you should expect to have your butthole blasted. By the way, if you're into having your butthole blasted, hit that like button and subscribe right now for butthole blasted Call of Duty content by yours truly, Ghost of 8. Nonetheless, so I jumped on and then I was hit with this page right here. What the fuck is this piece of shit? But I have seen nothing more ridiculous than what I am seeing now in the Call of Duty store for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Like, it's not Call of Duty anymore. Like, we are just in just ridiculousness. Like, what, what are we doing here? Like, it's just done. It's gone. You turn on the game, and this is the first thing I was met with today. Good eye, bite. How you doing? Bounce him up and bite with it. Why do I sound like a scouser from England? I can't do Australia. Oh, good eye, bite. Put our ship on the bobby. Bounce him and bite him back with a tricep pack. Hey, good eye, bite. Put him with a cruise of blokes by the stop of that skin. <laughs> My accent is horrible, dude. Bloody water, LMG blueprint. All oh, right, yeah, I can't do it. Oh, fan of the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Hey, Crocodile Dundee. Oh, fastest lager for BS Australia for me. <laughs> on dude okay press x to go to store yeah we gotta go to the store and check this out this is gonna be amazing holy what the fuck is this dude it's a shark come on man like this is the most ridiculous stupid thing i've ever seen in my entire life what are we doing here look at this what the is going on? Oh, it's so awesome, guys. Guys, make sure you log into Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and get yourself an amazing shark skin from, from Australia. Good eye, mate. Man, this is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna get bit by the shark because I'm gonna be an amazing gamer. Oh my god, this is just the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. What What is going on? Just the most ridiculous, stupid stuff they're putting in Call of Duty nowadays. It is just absolutely like brain rot to the max like when you're not getting abused by skill based matchmaking engage on the matchmaking hacking horrible maps ai made content it is even just dumber with the type of skins you're putting in a game which is a first person shooter can't even see them but what, what are we fortnite now at least fortnite's fortnite call of duty has no identity and it's absolutely ridiculous you want to know why gaming sucks why entertainment sucks in general it's because the liberals who are making it not all liberals, but millennial Gen Z for sure liberals are the people making games because they live in an echo chamber of the woke mind virus that they got from university and it's nothing but another echo chamber on the social medias that they participate in and it stifles creativity, it stifles originality, it stifles any kind of product that is actually any good nowadays as you can tell just by the example in front of you of what we see and what we consume and what we don't consume when it comes to entertainment and gaming. What a joke. I'm gonna go buy this skin right now, guys. It's super awesome. I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be an Australian shark playing Call of Duty. It's supposed to be in a Cold War setting. A Cold War setting, like, worlds come. What do we, they talk about immersion being destroyed. It's obvious that the developers making this game honestly care more about putting time into the skins and the artwork of the skins than the actual game itself. And you can notice this by looking at the characters in the game that are there by default and then looking at the characters who are there to purchase in the store with your money and COD points. And on top of that, the developers obviously are putting more effort and time into the skins as well by the other aspects of the game that are negated and neglected. Because at the end of the day, this game and the way it makes its money is off of microtransactions, which speaks volumes to about the people who actually play this game as the mass majority. Because if these are type of skins, and we look at the skins in the store with these stupid blood fang women skins and powerful sharks, sharks in a first person shooter about military which makes no sense at all i've been still just you know making this video talking to you guys and still i'm having a hard time wrapping my brain about how someone thinks let's put this skin in the game but apparently 
they sell. These stupid skins sell. We look at Modern Warfare 3. They've been predominantly getting stupider and stupider and less actually military based and more fantasy, furry type, dumb, cartoony shit. Because at the same time, I don't know if you know this, but the developers are like anti gun people and super far left types who are against the patriarchy and the white cis male while making a military shooter, which makes no sense. Talk about a confliction of who you are when you're a complete opposite type of person who makes this video game and then you look and wonder why it has gone to shit in the handbasket and why we have these type of skins because it is a direct reflection of the people making the game like when you look at someone's art and you look at what they create it usually is a direct reflection of the person making it and in this case it also is a direct reflection of the people who are playing the game because these skins obviously have to appeal to the larger majority of the people who play the game, which I don't think we are. Like, people watching this video who agree with this video, we are not the target audience anymore for Call of Duty. The target audience for Call of Duty, I guess, are children, even though it's supposed to be an 18-plus game, because I don't know any adult or anyone who's 20-something years old who buys these skins that have nothing to do with the military shooter, but obviously those skins sell or they wouldn't keep making them because at the end of the day, the biggest drive for money is not just sales. Sales make them a lot of money, but they make Call of Duty and general and just games in general now make way more money off of microtransactions and battle passes and if that's where the money is made you have to appeal to the mass majority of the audience who are going to buy those skins and these skins like some shark from australia is obviously appealing to dumb kids kids is where the money's at if you look at music you look at the audience you look at people who buy the most albums through the history of music times it's the younger demographic and obviously that's what we're doing here with call of duty black ops 6 and call of duty in general but who cares about all that who cares about anything to do with the skin with the game with none of that at the end of the day the game is rigged anyways it's rigged and i imagine it's set up to get people to buy skins we've been down that road before many videos about how if you're playing in a game they have an algorithm to get you killed by dudes using guns and dlc and weapons and things you can buy in the store so that when you get smoked by them in the game and you get killed by them then you could look at that and say oh hey i might go buy that because it sets an example and it's also part of, part of marketing and manipulation which this whole game is nothing more than a dopamine drip feeding you with a manipulation simulator masked in a game to sell you microtransactions. All right, I'm getting out. I'm the ghost of bait. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, like the video, all that nonsense. But last and really most importantly, but not least, stay based. Question authority. Don't let the reptilian shapeshifters build them with base harp to spray chemtrail. 7 Eleven was an inside job. Just Google check. Be pooping all over the place. Tower 7. The Bohemian Grove worship and Alice. Earth is flat. The moon landing was fake. Alan Jones is Bill Hicks. We're just on a ride, man. The fluoride definitely turned the frogs gay. White man, breathe down.